guys, so I want to do a quick review on these brushes um, from Sephora. Right now, they come in a box like this, so they're really luxurious. Um, Haku Hodu uh, partnered up with Sephora Pro, and they made some brushes. And I don't know if this is at every Sephora, but the Sephora I went and visited, they had buy one, get one free. So I, I could not pass up that deal. That is an amazing deal. Haku Hodu is really known for their brushes. I think they're handmade. Um, they're just really luxurious, and I know they're expensive. So I bought two of them. Well, I got two of them. This one was 49 This one was 39 I believe. So it was of equal price or less that you got the free one. And um, I was in need of a new blush brush, so I did get a new blush brush. But, um... They come in boxes like this that says Haku Hodu on it. You open it, has the picture of the brush, and then it's got the brush in it. And it will be in these little ties right here like that. But mine's already out, and I've already used it too. So that's how I'm able to do a review because I know my thoughts on these brushes already. Um, they look like this. Black barrel. Um, red thing. It says Haku Hodu Sephora Pro, and then it has something in J Japanese, I would believe. But uh, this is the, ja I don't know, I'll put the name right here of what the name of the brush is. But this is a teardrop shaped brush. They even have one that's bigger that is a huge face brush that I wanted to get. But I didn't. I got this. It is labeled as a highlighting brush, which I mean, yes, you could highlight with this very well. Um, but I needed a under eye setting brush to set my under eye concealer. And I feel like it does that perfectly 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 so I love it for that and that's what I've been using it as and it's gives me like it doesn't cake up but the powder which I think is good so my powder does not cake up at all using this brush keeping the boxes though I'll take the brushes out eventually but I'm keeping the box um, and then this one I will also put the name I think it's Ouija OG I don't know again picture the brush this is a blush brush, and as you can see, I have used this. I used this to put on my blush today, and um, I, I'm not too big of a fan using this as blush, just because it's very dense, so to me, it's not blending my blush as well as I would like it to, so I think this is too bright, and I've been trying to blend and blend and blend, and it's just still there. But, um, you could also use this as contouring as well. You could use this to set the under eye. You can do a lot with these brushes. You don't have to, when it comes to brushes, you do not have to do what they're labeled as. You can get as creative as you want and use them as anything as you want, honestly. So, but I'm using this blush, her, a blush brush because my blush brush broke. So, I needed a new one and that is how I convinced myself to make this purchase how do i feel about them like is the price worth it no i don't think they're worth that price like 49 dollars for this brush i think maybe 25 30 but 49 almost 50 dollars for this brush i don't think so but then again these are my only haku hodu brushes that i own only reason i was like Yes, it's because of the review I saw Danny, well, I think it was an unboxing that Coffee Break with Danny did with these brushes. And at first, I didn't I didn't realize they came in individuals, but I saw the individuals and I was like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Like, my boyfriend can, like, testify for me how excited I was when I got these brushes. I was like, oh my god. I was screaming at the top of my lungs so excited to get these brushes. They're just so nice. Like, and they're really good to look at. Like, you just want to sit there and stare at them. They're, like, red and just gorgeous and luxurious. Sephora brushes, just because of the price, they're, like, hella expensive. But, like, I think if Sephora did, like, on their regular brushes, buy one, get one free, that would, like, the purchases would go up for their brushes, I think, for sure. Um, and huge con is when I got the blush brush, it already shed about maybe three strings of hair. And I was like, are you kidding me? These are not hard to pull hairs out of. They're not. I could sit here and pull all these hairs out. That is not. They're not hard to pull hair out of. Like, there's one right there. 
I could seriously just pull that out. They're not hard to just uh, misshape in either. Like you could sit here and fold this for a while and it's going to like take a shape, especially if you do it singular ways. Like if you have a lot of brushes cluttered in your collection and it happens to bend like this, it's gonna take that form sooner or later. So you wanna take really good care of these brushes. I don't know cleaning wise how they are, how you clean them. I'd probably would just clean them like I clean all my other brushes, honestly, but yeah. I'll list pros and cons right at this moment. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it at least a tidbit helpful. Um, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye.